Hello friends, in this video we prepare an interesting inorganic pigment molecule called ammonium manganese 3 pyrophosphate. Ammonium manganese 3 pyrophosphate is an inorganic pigment better known as manganese violet. It has a vibrant purple color and it consists of three separate ions, the ammonium ion, manganese in plus 3 oxidation state and the pyrophosphate ion. Materials required for this preparation include 9.3 grams of ammonium dihydrogen orthophosphate, 2.3 grams of manganese dioxide and 10 milliliters of 88% orthophosphoric acid. We start by taking the pre-weighed 9.3 grams of ammonium dihydrogen orthophosphate and 2.3 grams of manganese dioxide together in a mortar. Ammonium dihydrogen phosphate was prepared by reacting ammonium carbonate with stoichiometric amounts of orthophosphoric acid and manganese dioxide was extracted from batteries. With the help of a pestle, grind them together to a uniform mixture which will be black in color due to the manganese dioxide. Grind them by a rotational motion of the pestle and not by ramming the pestle on the compound as it can cause spillage of the compound. Once that is done, we transfer the compound to a 100 ml beaker with a spatula. Five milliliters of 88% orthophosphoric acid was taken in a graduated cylinder and was transferred into this beaker. The beaker was then placed in an oil bath over a hot plate and heat was cranked up to 230 degrees Celsius and a stirred bar was put. Heating was continued for around 2 hours. The temperature was maintained and was monitored with a temperature probe. After about 1 hour, you can already see a purple color starting to develop in the beaker. I am not sure of the exact equation of what is happening here. Anyway, the ammonium dihydrogen orthophosphate reacts with orthophosphoric acid and manganese dioxide at temperatures of around 230 degrees Celsius to form this compound. After about 2 hours, the reaction is complete and I switched off the hot plate and take out the beaker for cooling to room temperature. Once it is cooled, it forms very thick in consistency and you can see that the stir bar is almost trapped in the beaker. To the beaker was added an excess of distilled water. Since the stirring bar is trapped inside the solid, we will have to do a manual stirring with the help of a glass stirring rod to take out the stirring bar from the solid. While manually stirring, you can see the jelly like or a paste like consistency of the solid. This is mainly due to the formation of polyphosphates and it can be all hydrolyzed back to the phosphate by adding more water and by increasing the temperature which is why I first heat this beaker to boil. Since 100 ml beaker is already full I have transferred everything into a 250 ml beaker and I added more water and made it around 200 milliliters. Continue boiling for about 1 hour and then allow it to cool. After reaching the room temperature, filter the solution to obtain the final product. I am using a gravity filtration method here. Since the particles are very fine, it would be easier to do a vacuum filtration if you have that setup.
In the filter paper, we are left with this purple colored precipitate and the filtrate is having a pink color resembling that of a permanganate ions. The filtrate can be discarded. The product was then dried and was weighed. I got a yield of about 5.36 grams and I could not calculate the percentage yield as I do not have a valid equation. Anyway, the yield doesn't matter, the color matters. So that's all in this video. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.